How long have you been playing for? A week? A month? Maybe even a year? And you go to your career and ask yourself, why am I still silver? If this sounds like you, tell me this. Can you really answer that question in full confidence or do you continue to make excuses on why you can't rank up? Man. Oh my god. My name is Rooney, I'm a Valorant coach and player who has reached Immortal 3 in every single act of the game. And in today's video, I'll be giving you 5 reasons on why you're still silver and how you can get out of elo hell. The first reason why you're still in silver is because you neglect warming up or warm up too much. For the hundreds of students that I've coached, I can say that only 20% of them actually warm up before coming to me and ask me for advice on being consistent. You need to understand that in order to stay consistent, progress in Valorant, and finally reach the goal rank of Immortal, you need to make a consistent warm up routine in order to do so. Many neglect this fact however and jump straight in and wonder why their aim feels off or their movement feels stiff. Just like any skill that you want to improve, you need to do a warm up in order to fully progress and have a productive session of playing. What I suggest is you should only warm up for around 15 to 20 minutes. This is the sweet spot in order to get yourself back into the groove of the game without being too little where you don't gain an actual warm up and not too long to burn yourself out before you even get to play ranked. Many also overcomplicate warming up. Warming up can be as simple as going into the range for 5 to 10 minutes and playing 1 or 2 DMs for another 10 minutes. It isn't long at all and you will thank yourself massively as you're destroying your enemies like usual. Moving on, the second reason why you're still hard stuck in low elo is that you don't manage your time well. It's no secret that the best way to rank up as fast as possible is to simply play Valorant as much as you can. However, this does not mean you need to spend up to 4 to 5 hours every single day playing in order to reach your goals. Although, you do need to manage your time in order to fit in at least a couple of games every single day. The best way to do this is to look at your schedule from a wide scope and determine what you need to do during every day. Find things that are consistent in your schedule, such as school, work, and exercise. Now, fit your playing times in between blocks in order to maximize as much improvement as possible in the shortest amount of time. In order to improve, it's better to stay consistent and keep a schedule as best as possible rather than skip some days and have other days be congested with Valorant to make up for the lost time. This will allow you to play more on the long term and avoid burnout in the future. Another reason why you're still stuck in silver is because you don't keep yourself accountable. Not only do you make excuses on why you're hard stuck, you also don't do anything to improve yourself and avoid putting in the work to improve on your weaknesses. If you ask any pro player in Valorant, one of, if not the biggest tips they have is to improve and learn from your mistakes and make sure they never happen again. I personally have kept this concept even after reaching my goal of Immortal, which allowed me to skyrocket through the leaderboard and even helped me improve while I was competing against pro players. However, this is not a skill that can be learned overnight and takes countless of hours in order to be able to spot your own mistakes and improve on them. The best way that I found to improve on your accountability is to really process why and how you died every single round. Ask yourself questions like what could I have done better or how could I have prevented my death and thinking of solutions on how to prevent this in the future. Once you do that, directly apply it and focus on it on the next round. For example, if you found that you died alone and could have prevented the death if you had a teammate with you and asked for utility, make sure that every round after, you're focusing on always being within a teammate's range in order to be traded. This is just one of many examples and can be applied to various different situations. But the main thing is that you are actively applying what you learned from the last round and improving on them. This will make you slowly and slowly become a better overall player. If you still struggle with this concept and have no idea how to actually apply this in your games, I wanted to mention that I do offer coaching. I have coached many players in reaching their goals and breaking out of their hard suck ranks and can guarantee that I can help you as well. If you're feeling stuck and have no idea what to do and are looking for someone who has already been in your situation and has gotten out of it, go to my discord which is linked in my description and shoot me a DM to book a session today. 
As well, I'm doing a summer deal where every new student will receive a 15% off discount for the first session, so make sure to join as soon as possible. Continuing on, the fourth reason why you're still in silver is because you simply don't believe in yourself. You need to understand that this journey isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It takes countless of hours to improve your craft and learn the ins and outs of Valorant to eventually reach the top 0.1% of players. Many students that I've talked to were so close to giving up and considering just simply quitting the game. Luckily, most of them pulled through and understood that this was just a slump in the long term of improvement, and most persevered and broke through their peaks like it was nothing. Valorant is one of those games where I truly believe that in order to rank up, 10% of it is your skill and 90% of it is your mentality. Your mentality is what drives you to want to improve. It drives you to stay consistent. It drives you to do the boring things that you don't exactly want to do, but it's necessary for your improvement. Having a strong mentality is one of the best things you can have, not just for Valorant, but extremely helpful in every aspect of your life. Unfortunately, there is no one simple answer to really perfect your mindset. However, there are many things you can do to improve it. The most important thing I think everyone should focus on and always keep a priority is your overall health. Ask yourself if you're sleeping enough, drinking enough water, getting proper exercise every week, and overall just staying happy and confident. This will all directly apply to your skill and valor and improve your overall confidence in your performances. You won't feel the need to doubt yourself as you know you are already good enough to reach the goals you set out for yourself, but all it takes now is just time. Last but not least, the final reason that most are stuck in silver is because you are not focused. If you set a goal for yourself in order to reach a certain rank in Valorant, why do you still troll your games? Yes, I know most don't do this purposefully, and actually most of the time don't realize it at all. But many don't understand that in order to truly improve in every game, you need to apply your full focus on each game you play. This not only means during the actual round, but also applies to when you practice or even when you are dead. While you're dead, most just go on their phone and scroll through TikTok. Instead, use this time to think of how to counter the enemy team or how to improve your own gameplay for the next round. Always be that one step ahead and always focus on what's in front of you. If you're truly serious and dedicated to improving, remove all distractions when you're in game. Have your phone in another room or have your phone flipped over on your desk. Play with a friend in order to keep each other accountable. Eat gum in order to put your body into a state of focus. Do these simple things to improve yourself and stop wasting your time. Take every last second while you're in your ranked game to try your best and use it to increase your skill at every chance you get. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video and took all the reasons into consideration on why your heart suck. Also, if you haven't, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you found this video valuable. And again, if you're looking for someone who can take your game to the next level and help you reach your goals, make sure to join my Discord and send me a DM to book my coaching sessions. As always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.